This week's video is brought to you by Skillshare. The first thousand of my subscribers to click on the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of premium membership so you can begin to explore your creativity and get wicked learned like I am. Hello, welcome back to Building a House from Trees. It is hot. Um, I'm wearing this to hide from the sun a little bit. I can go with the hood up. There's some neck sweat right there. With the earmuffs. Nice little cocoon, but boy, I'm cooking in this thing. Plus, I was just working on the south facing wall. Uh, that one right there. The big one, way up high on the ladder. Fortunately, I'm pretty confident on ladders now. I'm still aware of the risk of not falling, but landing. Uh, anyhow, this week's episode, I make some dowels out of some white oak scraps that I got from the Red House uh, woodworking shop in Burlington, Vermont. Check out Red House's website if you're ever interested in looking at some incredibly fine home building. Um, if you're in the, you know, Vermont, anywhere in Vermont, and you want some high-end work done, look at, look at Red House. Anyway, this week's episode, I make some dowels, and I... Turn, uh, I take some user suggestions, thank you, out there, and I get rid of those brackets by putting in two homemade dowels from the other end, pegs, one inch white oak pegs, which I soaked in linseed oil, and that's ridiculously solid, and I begrudgingly admit it does look a lot better. So thank you for all the tips out there um, and the suggestions to do that. Yeah, it, it's the way to go. That one, I'm pretty sure, is going to be buried in a wall. I might do something else there. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I also get most of the rest of the strapping done, getting ready for the siding. So I want to I want to get some user, uh, some um, viewer comments and suggestions on the stain of the product, either the stain. I'd like to do linseed oil and pine tar mix. Um, if anybody from Viking Sales in upstate New York is watching this and you want to sponsor me, Go right ahead. I would love that and I will sell your product. It's just I, I, I the, the volume that I need is kind of outside of my price point. Uh, so I, I, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to go lighter or darker. Um, darker probably will hold up better, but I like the idea of light. Light, of course, will get bleached by the sun. I'm doing wide pine boards, uh, 8 to 12 inch to 14 inch some places, um, batten and board. So meaning I've got the strapping, batten, and then horizontal or uh, vertical boards just butt jointed and that's what the package is going to be so it should be should be pretty interesting uh and i think it'll look good so anyway it's kind of a long preamble that's the beginning of this video and uh anyway <laughs> so 
My brain's a little cooked right now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and I also want to say, um, make sure you check out uh, Destin's new video, Smarter Every Day. He's got a little, little YouTube channel out there. Some of you may have heard of it. This week, it was released today. Um, well, today is yesterday to you. Uh, today to you is 7-2, which coincidentally is my birthday. So, uh, But uh, Smarter Every Day released a video on how a carburetor works. And I've got a very good grasp on small engines and I've rebuilt carburetors my whole life. I, I really understand them. And now I completely and truly understand them. It was illuminating and beautiful. It's, it's a really incredible video. I'll try to put the link in the description below and whatever. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you out there. I just dropped the drill again. Uh, this is looking a little, a little worse for wear. This has held up extremely well for the last, geez, almost 12 years, but it's getting close. God, that stinks. It works, but that happens. Nothing a couple more layers of zip tape can't fix. Here we go. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people just like you. This is a fantastic opportunity to explore new skills and get lost in creativity while expanding your wealth of knowledge. So I've been building this house for a while using these pretty simple doodles that uh, I've just kind of scratched on paper. And I wanted to know how to use SketchUp for drafting, layout, and interior design plans for this place and future projects for clients or commercial work. So now with Skillshare, I've started taking SketchUp for Beginners, how to create your first 3D house from scratch with SketchUp taught by Alex Stanojevic. In just a few short lessons, I've begun to wrap my head around what was previously daunting to me about this program. I'm really looking forward to being proficient at it, and I'm confident that this will get me there. So Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So I'm going to secure all these joints with some six inch timber locks, even though they're all wicked solid, no sense not locking it together. And I think I'm going to look at possibly doing what a viewer suggested and getting rid of that bracket, even though I kind of like it, but I would like driving in a couple oak pegs. I think that would look kind of cool. So I think I might, uh, I might have to make some oak pegs to do that, but yeah, drill out a couple holes and drive in some oak pegs and get rid of that bracket. So, we'll see. So I marked out the four by six that's right there. And I'm going to send two dowels like this, one through there and one through there. And then it can sit on that and have quite a bit of shear strength. So I got to make those dowels now. 
Oh, it's hard. So that's all it is. I just put that at a 45 and I feed that through. You gotta be pretty uh, pretty gentle with it and be aware that it could be dangerous. It can bite a little bit. So <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is um, just round them off a little bit, uh, round off the, the head a little bit with the big old flap disc grinder. So I'll do that presently. These are soaked in linseed oil. There you go. Well, that was uh, this whole process right here is thanks to a uh, one of the viewers, a couple of the viewers actually, but one of them was pretty adamant about it. And well, at first I bristled about it because, interestingly, I've actually never been wrong about anything in my life ever until this moment. Um, so, <sighs> tongue and cheek. Uh, I decided that it probably is worth getting rid of that ugly bracket and. Um, I sank two oak pegs that are going to act as splines, and I got two timber locks up in there, and that's that's just monolithic. That's not going anywhere. One inch white oak spline soaked in linseed oil. Looks a lot better, and it's cool. It looks like it's timber framed, and it kind of is. So I'm going to sand these down and get them, hit them with wood filler at some point. <laughs> All right. And now the same thing over there. Thank you. 
So you remember uh, last year's episode, I think I titled it Endless Water, and it seems like that's the case. We're kind of in the drought, as I imagine a lot of you are, at least in this country. Um, it's just been wicked dry and wicked hot. The grass in the field looks like it's August, and it's still June. But I'm able to water the garden, and everything's doing really well as a result of that. Um, you know, it's got the fertilization and everything, but... Um, you know, as a result of this sprinkler being able to run in different spots around the garden, everything's going really, really nicely. So, uh, and now that I've got the two layers of electric fence up, thank you, concerned viewers, you were all correct. One layer did nothing. Uh, it gave them a parkour opportunity. Thank you, that's a clever comment. And now it seems to be proving effective. So, we'll see what's next. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> getting the strapping done. Nearly there on all of that southern face of the house. We're about to dive into the rest of the bump out there and then, uh, then we'll go from there.